2018 was my first year attending VidSummit, and these are clips from that conference. And this, this is me, right here. Funny enough, browsing through all the footage available to make this video, I didn't make much of a mark on the content that was recorded in 2018 VidSummit. I didn't give any testimonials expressing how it helped me or the connections made would help guide me for the rest of my career and life. I was a newbie. I didn't know and for that reason I wasn't in much of anything. Oh, except for that. Uh, rewind please. This was my two seconds of on-screen fame. Way to go Tom. Your mother would be proud. But in all fairness, it was my first year attending in real life, and I had no idea what to expect. This video is for all those people asking, should I go to VidSummit? Is it worth the money to attend VidSummit? And what would I get out of going to VidSummit? Well, let me reassure you, by the end of this video, I'll answer every one of those questions, and you'll be on VidSummit.com buying yourself a ticket. So if you follow the channel, you know that last year was the first year that I flew out to the West Coast to attend the conference. What you might not know is that the year before, I attended VidSummit via my computer screen. That's right, I was a digital ticket holder. And from that point on, I knew I had to attend the event in person. Because the only thing that I couldn't get with that virtual pass was the opportunity to network and talk with like-minded creators of every size from all over the world. So in 2018, I sang a little song and danced a little dance, and I got some pretty amazing tweets from people that I wanted to surround myself with. The stars aligned, and I made it to LA. There, I took notes for four days nonstop, learned a serious amount of information. Seriously, so much information that if I wanted to apply it all, it would take years. I'm actually still working on some of the tools that I was taught last year, and there's still some that I haven't even begun to think about. But on top of all the information, all the statistics, tools, and tips, I made some of the best connections with people that were strangers months before. Those people are now my close friends. I even consider them family. I even got some FaceTime with a speaker, skateboarding at 5 a.m. to grab a coffee, talk shop, goals, and business. I met a person who is now a pillar of my channel's growth, and we're both going on to do some huge things in the future. I made friends who stayed in my house and met my family. VidSummit literally opened the doors to help me grow over 300% in 2019. It's the prime example that knowledge is power. So, should you go to VidSummit? Obviously, you'd be silly to think you shouldn't. The value you can get from the first 10 minutes in a room with other creators far outweighs the cost of any ticket, flight, or hotel. So boom! That takes care of question number two also. Is it worth the money? Duh. And hopefully by me telling you about my first in-house VidSummit experience, it clears up the question, what would I get out of going to VidSummit? If it wasn't clear, knowledge, experience, connections, insider information, and best of all, honest, trustworthy, and like-minded people to help you grow and make more money on YouTube and many, many, many other social media platforms. VidSummit is a must for anybody who takes this career and their path in creation seriously. Seriously. While this video was made to promote VidSummit, it's not a traditional ad. All my accounts were personal, and no matter how many times you watch this video, it might not be personal to you. So, if you want to know anything more about my experiences and thoughts on going, or have any questions at all, call me, and I hope to see you at VidSummit in 2019.